hello in this uh, video I'm going to start uh, looking at how to find percentage or percent of a given quantity or use the word smartly that is without using a calculator now when it comes to calculate percent I have people telling me that they have found always difficulty in finding per, uh, percent of a given quantity or percentage of a given quantity I can assure you that if you listen to uh, this set of videos a series of videos I'm going to go very slowly I can tell you that uh, you can calculate any percent of any quantity quite smartly if suppose it's so useful uh, I'll give you a simple example that if you go to a supermarket or if you go to a sale and they say there is a 35 percent uh, sale and you want to calculate in your head without you don't have a calculator how can you do that okay uh, if you have a calculator that's fine but even then you should know what the calculator is doing so uh, I will start by the word percent okay so let me write the word percent or percentage percent you can break this into two words which is per cent now cent has come from the word century and you should be knowing century is hundred and per means every every cent so or every hundred so this if you want to understand the word percent you should be knowing means out of hundred out of hundred that is what percent means in the most simplest way if you understand this simple principle or simple fact about percent you are doing quite well so now what does this mean means out of 100 so when someone is saying say 20 percent what they mean is 20 out of 100 okay 20 out of 100 which is in math you write like this that is 20 divided by 100 okay now let me give you one more example. Suppose if someone is saying, say, 32% means it is 32 out of 100, which is written as 32 out of 100. Okay. Now, where am I going? Now, suppose the question is you want to find 32% of $150. That is where many of you may struggle. So I'm going to teach you a wonderful way in which you can do it off your head. But for that, you need to know at least the times table from 1 to 10. And you should know how to divide by tens or hundreds. So before doing that, before finding that, let us understand how to divide by tens or hundreds or thousands. Okay. Okay. Dividing by. Okay. Let us see dividing by 100 only. Dividing by 100. Okay, suppose it is say 15, 156 out of 100. Okay, this 156 can be written as 156.0. Now, this is only a placeholder. So, it's divided by 100. Now, there are different ways of explaining people can be very argumentative about when you're explaining this so what you're dividing 156 by 100 that means this 156 will become you want to find hundredth part of 156 so this is this is the way I like to explain this decimal point when you divide this number has will become smaller okay, when you're dividing by 100 this number has to become smaller so the decimal point will move two places to the right 
in a way it is mathematically not right actually some people say that this decimal point doesn't move that's they are right but uh, uh, decimal point doesn't move the number moves that's fine but you're saying the same thing in two different ways I like to explain like this so this decimal point will move two places to the left so this will become 1.56 okay so this is fine but you, when you have say 12 out of 100 okay here we had three numbers so there was no problem here the decimal point here you can say this is 12.0 yeah but now you will struggle this has only two numbers so you can put in a zero here which is called a placeholder this zero is called it doesn't have any value it's only holding its place so that's why it's called a placeholder I'll explain this in the side example now what do I mean when I say 12 12 is same as 0, 1, 2. Okay? This 0 doesn't have any value. It's only holding a place. 12 can be written as also 0, 0, 1, 12. You can put any number of zeros in, in front. 12 can be written as 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 12. Doesn't make any difference. They all mean 12. I'll show you on the calculator. Okay, so let me show you menu. There's a simple run menu. So if you put 0, 0, 12, what does the calculator tell you? That's 12. If you put 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 12, that will also give you 12. So these zeros don't have any value. They're only placeholders. Okay, so what do I mean by this? So what I'm saying is this now the decimal point can move two places to the left so this is same as 0 0.12 you don't have to write like this but initially those who struggle this is suppose it is say 5 over 100 this is where people panic what to do you've got only one number you've got so 5 can be written as 5.0 okay y can be written as 5.0 now you may some may even struggle here how can you i'll show you on a calculator again see if you type in 5.0 sorry 5.0 you can put any number of zeros here these are also called placeholders that is nothing but 5 okay 5.0 is 5 okay so these are placeholders okay so this is again a placeholder so and I'm going to put two zeros here or let me put three zeros here doesn't matter so this uh, you didn't need three zeros let me we needed only two zeros so two zeros would have worked so zero zero now this decimal point because uh, I didn't explain why it has to move two places when you're dividing by 100 100 has how many zeros it has two zeros so it will move two places to the left okay this is where teachers struggle so this has got two zeros 100 has two zeros so it will move two places to the left so this will become 0 0.05 Okay, let us let me show this on a calculator. Phi divided by hundred. So menu run phi divided by hundred is zero point zero five. Okay. So what happens? So let me move on from hundred to thousand. Okay. Suppose what happens if it is say six divided by one thousand? Okay. Now, 100 has two zeros, 1000 has three zeros. So, we have a decimal point sitting here. Okay. 6 is 6.0. And I'm going to put, it has to move three places to the left. So, I've got one number, second. So, let me put three zeros here. 
and so I, as it's thousand has three zeros, this will move three places to the left. Okay, so this will become zero point zero zero six. Okay, I'll show you this again on the calculator, and in the next video I'll show you how to use this to. So what did we say? Six divided by one thousand is equal to. Uh, this is this is ten times. This is to do, for some of you. Okay, now this is zero point. 0 0.006 is this okay now this means 6 times 10 to the power negative 3 so don't be worried about this so I'll just calculate this is called a scientific form so 0 0.006 is same as this okay I'll continue this in the next video keep watching thank you